Hi guys, welcome, welcome to my kitchen. Excuse the glare, you guys. Not much I can do about it. I have to have a light on. So here we go. Let's modify that bloom. Okay, this is our base paint, which is about 25% Floetrol and 75% paint. Just my paints haven't been working right. I don't know what's going on, so I've kind of just kind of been tweaking things here and there, you guys, until I get back to where I'm happy with it. So hopefully this is it. Like I said, you know what? It's only paint. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. I wish I could tell you why, but I can't. It's super frustrating. Um, I definitely get it. Very much so. Okay, so we got... Papio Red Blue, a little bit of metallic purple. This is another Papio color. This is blue green or green blue. Blue green, I think. Homemade yellow. Just a little splash of color here and there. Kind of a mustard yellow. I don't know what it started as, but. And a little bit of, you got it guys, lime. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. You guys all think I'm bananas with my thing for lime. But you know what? I'm going to mix it right up. This is olive. I have a little bit thick. Maybe we should just tone it down a smidge. Yeah, let's just go for it. And then this is um, color shift. I think it's called Violet Flash. It's quite pretty. It's iridescent-y. Let's drop some of that on. This is DecoArt White Satin Enamel mixed with Amsterdam White. We're going to plop that in the middle of all this. And we're going to go with Black Cell Mix tonight, guys. Oh, that was very, very well executed. Excuse my sloppy sloppy daub. That's terrible. Oh well, that's the way it goes. And you know what? I'm going to add some more green around the edges. This is a fairly good sized tile. Maybe 10 by 10. Gonna maybe need a little bit more paint. Could always use more lime. Ha ha ha. And let's fire a little bit of copper in the mix. Copper that's got some white paint daubed in it as well. All right, guys, here we go. Quick fire when I can find it. There it is. Torch out a few of these bubbles. Okay guys, I'm gonna have head in the picture for just a second. All right, we're gonna give this a minute, you guys, and let the center come back. I'm gonna have a sip of water while I'm waiting because I've got that raspy throat thing going on again. I think it's because my house is quite moist, so I have a dehumidified going at night, and it uh, I wake up with that raspy, raspy sounding voice. Okay, let's blow this out a bit more. Yeah, look at all these pretty colors, you guys. You might just touch this up or I'll just modify around it. What should we do? Shall we modify around it? Oh, I don't know. Let's just do it. Okay, guys, with your kebab stick, here you go. We're going to just modify our bloom like we've done many times before. Nothing too fancy. I'm going to do it with my left hand. Look at me. Just 
Okay, guys, I think we're gonna stop that there and add a little bit of paint. It's actually all I have to add is a little bit, so let's hope I put enough on this. You'd have to stop in the middle of a video and mix paint. That would not be cool. Okay, let's see what we can do, you guys. Get my tools out of the way so that I don't cover them with paint. And that's it. We're just going to start stretching this out. Say it all the time, but I'll say it again. We're not looking for anything right now other than get the paint moving. Not really paying much attention to composition. Just moving our paint around. So it's pretty fluid with the flow trawl in it. Um, I like that. And I... I found out earlier I did a piece in my line stay, which is very important in a modified bloom that your modification stands up. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back to this side. I'm going to take it right down off this corner. It might help it out a bit here because I'm pretty scant on my paint. I have enough, but... All right, guys, back to center we go again. I'm going to come down to this corner. Take it off. And back the other way. This has got some beautiful colors going on, you guys, as you can see. It'll be fun to modify this. There's lots of contrasting lines. All right, last tilt, you guys. Well, no, second to last tilt because we're going to just shift the weight of the paint back to center in as soon as it's off that edge right now. And then we're going to shift it back to the center. Okay. So we're going to stop that there and I'm going to turn it a little bit better for me and that's it guys we're going to go back in with our kebab stick and we're not going to do a lot because it's quite pretty as is. Hmm, here we go again. Okay um, let's just add some lines let's just break it up a bit we're just adding some Little points of visual interest just to change things up. Doesn't have to be a lot. Doesn't have to be any if you don't want. You all know I've done a couple pieces lately where I haven't been able to modify it. I just want to leave it alone. But it's fun to make some little, just break some, break some lines up a little bit. So this is nothing more than the round end of my kebab stick. I'm just going down the line. Very simple, as you can see. And when it starts to break up, it creates this funky little, like a ladder or something. Chain. Not a ladder. A chain, you guys. And it just adds something to your piece. How many other pieces do you see that have this funky chain running through them? None. Yours, when you do it to your piece. I don't really want to add too much again. I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Well, maybe we'll. Oh, heavens. You know what? I'm going to stop here, you guys. I'm liking what's happening. I don't want to wreck it. And again, I have to exercise restraints. So I'm going to bring it down. 
take a quick look. I'll try to get my hand out of the way. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful. Beautiful little.